Hey folks, Tip here from the Stupid Gardener. Um, welcome to uh, 2020. It's January 1st, 2020. Hope everyone had a happy and safe uh, New Year's Eve and welcome to the new year. Um, today's topic, uh, one of my first videos, is going to be on uh, composting. And as you can see on my shirt, it says compost happens. Uh, my sister gave me this shirt. Um, she lives down in uh, South Carolina and I got this for uh, Christmas. So uh, thank you very much to my sister. And, um, and if you look around all of nature, compost happens all the time. Um, if you think of like a forest where uh, trees are growing, the leaves fall, they fall down all on the forest floor and uh, rain comes and then sometimes snow will cover that and uh, the leaves rot and uh, worms come up and eat up all the um, leaves and different things like that and uh, it fertilizes the ground and trees grow um, and um, they get the water from that and everything so nature has its way of um, just constantly feeding um, the soil so a compost that you would have um, in your yard is the, basically the same principle except we, we like to speed that up a little bit. We're going to add things to it. Um, they say most of the time when you start a compost you need you no know, greens or nitrogen and carbons which would be like browns and different things like that. So in this video here I'm just going to go over what I put in my compost. Um, and if you guys have comments please uh, place them down below and um, everyone can get ideas from that. Different things that I put in, in my, my compost is probably like everyone else. Um, in the summertime, I like to put all my greens in there, the grasses and, um, and weeds and different things like that I get from the garden. And um, you just try and keep feeding that. The biggest thing with a compost and uh, the way I do it, I like to turn it as much as possible. During the winter time or the fall months, I'll do it, try to do it once a week. Um, you know, sometimes I can't, but most of the time I do. Um, in the summertime, I try and turn it numerous times during a week because you have a lot more greens and you want that to start um, eroding away. And if you put a lot of greens in there, sometimes you get you get a lot of smells and it gets kind of you get that mildew, and you get that smell. So you want to add the browns to it to kind of kind of cool it down a little bit and keep that temperature uh, consistent, and that gets the pile working and um, everything. So what I put in, uh, try and put my compost. Like I said, is greens, that would be grass. Um, I save all my clippings. All the leaves that we get in the yard, I mulch them up and I put them in there. And then I will add in um, different uh, scraps that we get, we get from the kitchen. Um, you know, anything like um, lettuce, you know, we, I eat a lot of fruit, so banana peels, apple peels, you know, any kind of fruit that things are left over, you throw in there. We eat a lot of salads and you put things like that. And that's pretty basic. Everyone knows that. But also, other things I like to add would be like shredded paper. I love putting shredded paper in there. And this really turns to soil and activates your compost rather quickly. Um, when you're, you know, we all get bills, and this is probably a good use of this paper, is to put it in your compost and um, let it work with the greens and the browns and everything else. Some things you don't want to put in there, uh, when you get your bills and you get that little plastic uh, see-through window there, that's probably not what you want to put in there because that's not going to go away. Um, and when you go to screen your compost, you're going to have little bits of plastic and you don't want that around your plants, all your lawn or in your garden or anything like that. Um, same thing with magazines, you know, and really anything shiny with us hidden into the election season this year, I guess 2020, we all get all that junk mail from all these uh, candidates trying to rule the world, and uh, this is not what you want to put in your compost, so you just want to, you know, throw it in your, your recycling and just get rid of it, uh, because it's really not going to, uh, to do anything for you, and it's just going to slow down the process that you have going on in your compost. Um, other things I like to throw in there is cardboard. This is perfect to put in your compost because the one thing, worms love this. You've got worms in your compost and once you put up that pile, worms are going to come from underneath and get up there and they're going to be eating all your uh, scraps you put in there and breaking down everything. And uh, they love um, cardboard. Uh, this is a little bit, you know, this is fluted 
and they'll get in there and eat that up and they'll, uh, you know, with worms, if you'll get the worm castings, that will really will help help your compost. So that's something good to put in there. Um, I will layer the top of my compost with this to kind of keep the heat in there. And then also I have a black plastic that I keep um, over it, which keeps out the um, animals from getting in there, from getting my kitchen scraps. So that's a very good thing to put in there. Something else I uh, like to put in there is all my kitchen scraps. And you know, like I said, fruit and different things like that. And um, I kind of save this up during the week because a lot of times after work, I don't have time to get out here. It's, it's dark out here. And so I will put them in these little Cool Whip containers and I'll put them in the freezer and freeze them. And then come on Saturday when I'm out here turning the compost, I will add this in there. And um, banana peels, they break down very quickly. Um, and as well as most of the other uh, garden scraps, I mean, uh, kitchen scraps that you'll, you'll, you'll put in there. Um, citrus fruits, um, orange peels, they, they take a little bit longer and a lot of people say you shouldn't put them in there, but um, I still throw them in there and uh, they seem to uh, rot away just like your regular kitchen uh, scraps. Um, I also drink a lot of coffee, so uh, we save all our coffee grounds and um, I even save mine at work. Um, in my office, I have a Keurig, and I and I save all that, and um, I just uh, empty them out, and I add that in there, and uh, this is great to put into your compost because this will really get the worms up there, get them feeding, and you'll be able to you know to uh, turn your compost, and um, it'll uh, really will break down into some nice uh, soil. Um, I also uh, will just take you know little small pieces of cardboard, like I said, and I'll I'll take these uh, toilet paper rolls and paper uh, rolls and I'll throw those in there and these, you know, they're, they're, they're gone within a couple of weeks but they really uh, degrade right back into, into some good soil. Um, also, when you're shredding paper, um, if you don't, you don't have a shredder, you can just throw paper in there and you can shred the paper yourself just by ripping it. This is a um, newspaper that we get delivered to us every single week. It's uh, just a local town paper um, and um, you can rip this into shreds and just throw it in there just like that. And, uh, or also you can take it, which is sometimes what I like to do, and I'm, I don't know if people out there do this, but I'll take the paper and I'll kind of just crumple it up and throw it in there like that. Uh, because that allows the air to get through your compost, you know. But this, like I said, this um, paper will be gone within a week or so, you know, and it's uh, right back into some great, great soil. You know? One other thing I like to put in there, um, we burn some wood in our fireplace. We're in North Carolina. And we don't burn it all that often because it, you know, it gets cold maybe three, four weeks, and that's about it. But uh, uh, wood ash is great to put into your compost. You know, it activates it. You know, and um, also I take a lot of my wood ash and I'll just throw it on the front lawn. The rains come, washes it right into the lawn, and uh, does a real great job. You know? So that's basically what I like to do. And also, when you're putting in your your compost, you always want to watch the temperature. And um, you want that compost hot, because when it's hot, it's working, you know. And so I went on Amazon and I got one of these uh, compost thermometers. It has the, you know, a temperature gauge right on there. And on this one here, it'll tell you when your compost is warm, whether it's active. And that's where you want it. You want it active. Um, or if it's hot. And sometimes you can get it too hot, and that's where you get, sometimes you get that smell. That happens a lot in the summertime when you're putting a lot of greens in there, so you really got to be careful of what you're putting in there. Um, and um, but you want it really between, you know, I always like it when it's like 125 to 130 something degrees. I think that's working real well. And you got this long little stem here, so you can really see what is doing right in the middle of your compost, and that's where a lot of it is happening, you know. And um, but I've always. Um, used a compost and um, my main goal is to really get away from going to these box stores, Lowe's or Home Depot or whomever, and buying up um, these bags of topsoil and miracle Grow or whatever the brand name is um, because it really costs a lot of money when you figure how much you're spending per bag is anywhere from you know six, seven bucks to nine dollars and you think of you know filling in a four by eight uh, raised garden bed, how much that's going to cost you with, you know, your, your compost, the manure you're going to buy, and then the miracle grow and topsoil, whatever else you're buying, you know, you're talking three, four hundred dollars that you're really just throwing away 
and uh, when you get all this around you that you can use for compost. So on these next um, couple of uh, videos, I don't know how many I'm going to do, I will show you the setup that I have. Of, I have like four bins that um, I use for the compost and I'm constantly turning it, you know, from bin to bin, you know, and then, uh, you know, if I see it breaking down, I, I will screen it off because the end result is, is right here. That's what you want, this right here. And I screened this off the compost early, early this morning. And look at that, that's great soil that's gonna go right into your garden and it's gonna feed. And also when I was screening it this morning, these little fellas came out. Look at that nice worm there. That's a beautiful worm. And that's what is breaking down everything in your compost, you know. And also worms have like a worm casting, you know, what they eat and you know, they, their excrement is getting all into your compost and that is great for your garden. It's wonderful. So nature's all around you. So if you look at nature and you see how nature is breaking down all these leaves and the grasses and everything, that's what you want to do in your compost. And you're able to kind of speed that up by turning it, you know, and put water on it, you know, uh, just keeping it nice and moist because what you want is this soil right here. And look at that, it's all clumping and everything. That is perfect soil that's gonna go into our, our garden and it's going to feed our flowers and everything like that so um, it's great and it's a whole lot of fun i remember as a young kid growing up uh, up in new england um, my mother and father always had a garden out back and my mother used to uh, you know she would can up all the green beans and everything else she grew zucchini and rhubarb and all that stuff and um, i never remember them going to a store a home depot or lowe's i don't think they had them back then uh, but I never remember them going to the store and picking up dirt or soil or anything for the, for the garden because we used a compost. And my mom and dad, they saved everything and we were going out there digging into the compost and dumping it in there for them and they would take that and spread it all over the garden. So it's all, all around you. So, so these next series of videos, I think the next one I'll do is I'll uh, show you my compost setup, show you how I turn it and how I screen it and what I do with it. So if you um, like the video, please uh, subscribe, like it, and uh, put your comments down below. And um, maybe you do a couple different things that I can use in my compost. So uh, until next time, this is Tip from the Stupid Gardener. Guys, have a great day. God bless.